Then I'd like to begin a series on Eucharistic revival uh, in terms of praying for a Eucharistic revival. Uh, the bishops in the United States have uh, begun a program of revival of devotion and love for the Eucharist. Uh, and there's always, I think, a need to revive our love for the Eucharist. Like anything, uh, when we experience uh, the beauty of prayer or the intensity we get from reading scriptures or the good feelings we get from doing works of charity to others and others to us, uh, a lot of times we can start to take these wonderful experiences that we have for granted. Uh, the best way not to do that is to take some time in prayerful reflection uh, concerning the gifts that we have been given to express gratitude for those gifts. So to lead us in the sense of, of praying for Eucharistic revival, I'd like to uh, use as a basis for it the uh, sequence uh, from the Feast of the Body of Christ. Uh, and then just to take the different verses of that and spend a little time in reflection and prayer about them. The uh, sequence is called Lauda Zion, or uh, Give Praise, O Zion. Loud, O Zion, your salvation, loud with hymns of exaltation. Christ, your King and Shepherd, true. That's the first verse of that sequence. So it's talking about uh, louding, uh, giving praise, the importance of praising God. Uh, we say to God, I want to love you. God, you have given me so much. God, I want to praise you. We speak in terms of O Zion, and of course Zion being synonymous with Jerusalem, uh, the mountain of uh, really our salvation. We speak of the salvation that, that came from that experience in Jerusalem with Jesus, his death and his resurrection. So we loud, O Zion, our salvation. The Eucharist really is about what? It's about giving us the gift of salvation. And salvation, coming from the Latin salus, meaning health, uh, that which makes us feel good, that which helps to sustain us, that which gives us strength. And so we, we come before God, receiving our salvation, of the Eucharist, and we come with hymns. Uh, always uh, at our liturgies, we're singing hymns. And what's the idea behind the hymn? The hymn is to give praise and glory to God, to raise our voices, uh, to be so happy, to be so filled with joy that we want to praise God uh, in song. And of course, we all love gatherings with song. We all love to be at a place where people are singing and, and having fun and rejoicing. And so that is uh, our year of the Eucharist, is the hymns of joy. We're experiencing this wonderful gift of the Lord. And so we want to sing about it. We just don't want to say words. We just transcend the words in song. And there are hymns uh, that are hymns of exaltation. We are feeling joy. We're feeling happiness in connecting with our Lord. And so we want to give praise uh, to Jesus. And so we give praise to Christ, the Anointed One, the one who has come with the news of salvation. He is our King. He is the one whom we look toward to for leadership. He is our servant King. He comes as King, but he he comes as King to serve us, to help us. And we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King. But what is that? It's about Jesus serving, Jesus coming and giving his life for us. Jesus giving us an example of how to love other people. And so he is our King, but he is also our Shepherd. And so as our Shepherd, he brings the flock. And he loves the flock. He knows the flock by name. He calls us by name. So he shepherds us, he brings us 
to our salvation, to this great feast, this Eucharistic feast. And he is our shepherd true, the sequence says. And we live in a world where we see a lot of the false prophets, people who will try to sell us some quick fix for something. But Jesus comes with the true love for us, which he expresses in the Eucharist as he gives us himself. So let us pray for Eucharistic revival within ourselves, within our community. Jesus, we thank you for the gift of Eucharist. We thank you for the way you come to us and offer us the gift of salvation. Offer us your very life. Help us to embrace that life and to realize that as shepherd, you will lead us and you will guide us to the truth. Help us to embrace that truth as we embrace a deeper understanding in our own lives of the gift of Eucharist, so that we can know how deeply we are loved by you, Lord, and how much you care for us. We come in prayer or praise, and we sing our praise to you, Lord. We sing our praise with much joy, for we have been given much. And so we thank you, Jesus, for this great gift of Eucharist. We thank you today and always. Amen. Hallelujah.